In this video, we'll take a look at the LeapBridge Steel Connect Edition analysis tool. And in this video, we're going to focus on grillage analysis. So in here, uh, once you select uh, and set your option here to grillage, and we, we've got three options, line girder, grillage, and finite element. Uh, but once you set it to grillage, uh, then you can still set your dynamic load allowances. Uh, you can <clears throat> tell it whether or not to include live load analysis or not, and if you do, uh, what are the steps for uh, the, dis the design lane and the uh, truck steps. Uh, but more importantly, or most importantly here, uh, you can go in here to lane setup and configure where uh, you want to position the trucks uh, as far as the lanes are concerned on the structure. So I'll zoom into the graphic here a little bit. And uh, here in the upper left, uh, you have three options. There's a fixed uh, lane system uh, based on the lane widths. We'll put as many lanes as we can fit out there. Uh, there's a mirrored option and there's floating. So let's take a look first here at fixed. So I have this set to fixed. I have a minimum lane width defined. It tells me what my actual lane width is. And by default, uh, for the travel way, it's using the entire width of the bridge deck. Now, uh, new to this version is the ability of the fact that you can go in here and you can uh, define the travel way uh, and be more specific about that if you don't want to go from edge of deck to edge of deck. Uh, you can change those options here and you can also define a second travel way. So if you have uh, one set of lanes that are maybe represent eastbound and the others represent westbound, uh, you can define a, a second travel way as well. So let's take a look at this. So we can um, do it relative to the left or right edge of deck, uh, the alignment that defines the structure, or relative to the parapets. So in my case here, I'm going to tell it that I want to do uh, maybe a foot and a half offset from the left and right edge of deck. Now that doesn't immediately update anything. Uh, essentially it's waiting for me to make whatever changes I want to any of the values here. I can define the vehicle path to only be in the center of the lane or uh, I can we can have it position the truck on the left center and right side uh, within each lane. But once you make the changes here, then you, when you select apply, that's when uh, it recomputes the uh, lane configuration here. So in this case, we have just one roadway to find. Uh, so the trucks will be uh, within these three lanes uh, for the length of the structure. Now, like I said, there are other options here. Uh, there's a mirrored option and then also even a floating option. So let's say I pick the floating option here. Now with floating, again, you can still define one or two travel ways. Uh, you still have a minimum lane width, but now you can set a lateral step as the uh, lanes are moved across uh, the pavement area. So, and, and then we can have the lanes reference to the left or right side of, of the deck. So uh, I'm going to set that for left. I'll go ahead and select apply. It thinks about it for a moment and once it's done, and in this particular case, on this particular structure, I end up with 32 different roadways. So let's take a look at what they are. So I'm going to click here on the first one and then using the down arrow on my keyboard, I can walk through and, and jump to other roadways out here. And we can see as I keep moving through here, now I have, <clears throat> in this case, just one lo one uh, roadway or one lane to find. And it'll keep doing that until uh, it's moved far enough that it can add a second lane in there. And then once that second lane's in there, then that pair of lanes will continue to uh, progress from left to right across the deck. And then once it gets down there, now we're back to what we had before. Now we've got just two lanes, uh, but these are lanes two and three, and they're moving at their own increment all the way across. And then lane three will go ahead and finish out, and that gives us 32 different uh, roadways there. Uh, once you have uh, the one selected that you want to use, uh, and I'm going to go back to a fixed scenario. Remember, you do have to hit apply after making any changes up here. You go ahead and select OK, um, and then a few other options you can set here. You can define the multiple presence factors uh, for each of those lane configurations. And then you can also 
tell us uh, what additional options to consider here in the analysis. So do we use uh, equivalent torsional J uh, in our computations? Uh, do we compute flange lateral bending per NCHRP report 725? And should we include the haunch in those section property calculations? Once you have everything set the way you like, you go ahead and click Run Analysis. Now once the analysis is completed, uh, then you can review uh, the shear and moment diagrams for any load case or combination, uh, as well as displacement. So you select the uh, stage, uh, you select the type of diagram you want to see, and again you can look at that for all girders. Uh, you can scale that, uh, you can turn off all girders and view just one girder at a time or uh, you can change the orientation of it so that you're looking at it uh, straight on as well. And even once you do that, uh, if you select this graphing type icon, uh, you can change the display uh, of the graph itself to one of three types. And again, you can do just a single uh, girder at a time as well. Also in here, uh, you can look at all the reports. So if you go to the show reports, uh, you can tell it, you want to look at dead load reports for no displacements or girder forces, uh, cross frames, cross frame detailed forces, and support reactions, or you can do the same for live load here as well. And then we can also give you some information on the construction lateral moments. There's also a tool here for uh, generating lane load details and, and we'll have a separate video that kind of detail what some of these reports are at a later time. So for now uh, thank you for watching this video on grillage analysis within LeapBridge Steel Connect Edition.